hello everyone right so in this video we are going to talk about how to calculate risk of malignancy index or shortly called rmi it's very important very important topic for all kind of ovarian cysts right we need to we need to assess the risk that how this this cyst can be you know can be turned into malignant lesions or it can be a malignant lesion so how to decide that so it's a very easy very easy tool to decide right so it is a calculator that means it it calculates a score okay and how it is calculate it takes three things into the account u m ca 125 so what is u u means ultrasound findings m means menopausal status ca 125 it is a tumor marker okay so whenever we see a cyst on ovaries and we find that likely it is not a very simple cyst it can be a complex cyst you know it's like if it is seen that we always order ca 125 and once we got the results we then calculate risk of malignancy index now how to calculate that ca 125 the direct okay you didn't you don't need to do anything for ca 125 the ca 25 the value will be taken here value in international units per mil now m is for menopausal status so for premenopausal woman it is taken as a one and for postmenopausal woman it is taken as three so it's only two values for m either one or three now the ultrasound findings it's a little bit work let's say ultrasound values the ultrasound values are only three it can be either zero one or three okay only three values now how to decide which value we'll use here it depends on the features of the cyst okay so there are five features that we need to, to take into account multilocular solid areas bilateral mass i mean bilateral lesions metastasis and ascites so simple way to remember this is this mnemonic is called my sister made apple baskets so m for multilocular sister for solid areas made for metastasis apples for ascites and baskets for bilateral lesions yes so depending on that we will calculate ultrasound score now ultrasound score as we already have discussed it's just three values zero one three to calculate zero we shouldn't be having any features that means a very very simple cyst let's say a lady has a very very okay looking normal incidental simple cyst so the simple cyst doesn't have any multilocular areas doesn't have any solid areas doesn't they are just you know unilateral only on one ovary so no bilateral mass there are no signs of metastasis there is no ascites so in that case in a very simple cyst the value will be zero and that means that the rmi in total will be zero right so that means there is no risk for any malignancy in the simple cyst i mean it's a very negligible region now let's say if we found out only one of these five features then we'll take the ultrasound score as just one or if we found that there are more than one ultrasound features present in the cyst that means we are going to take the ultrasound score three right so either zero one or three it's very easy only one feature one more than one three now you can calculate very easily let's say an example a 62 year old lady with complex cyst on the left ovary 
We calculated the CA125, it is 30. Now calculate the RMI. So for the menopausal status, lady is 62. The most likely she would be postmenopausal. So the value of M will be 3. C725 is taken just at it is like 30. And then comes the ultrasound score, which is some work, isn't it? So the complex cyst always, most of the time, is having solid areas or is also having multilocular appearance. Okay, so we can take two features here one of the solid areas and one is the multilocular. So once we got more than one feature, more than one ultrasound feature out of those five, my sister made apple baskets, then we'll take the ultrasound score 3. So how to calculate now? It's very easy. 30 into 3 into 3, it will make it 270, 270, 270. Right, so generally in the guidelines is taken that if the RMI is more than 200, it's not considered a good value. Okay, right. Now there are also confusions about RMI 1 and 2. Now, the only difference between RMI 1 and 2 is in RMI 2, all the three scores is now considered as 4. That's all rest of the things remains absolutely same just thing is we calculate four instead of three okay in rmi2 so this was i think optimal information about rmi thank you very much